Welcome back, everybody. Uh, last time we left off, um, I have to apologize. I called this guy uh, Will's uncle. He's not actually his uncle. He's his long-lost cousin. Um, I don't know how that works. How do you how do you know about your long-lost cousin without knowing who he is? Uh, did he disappear into the woods when Will was younger? They seem to know each other, which is uh, what I don't really understand. But anyways, we head off to uh, this inventor's house. And we're going to uh, we're gonna have a look around, I think. Oh, so he hasn't been lost for that long. Okay. Uh, what do these uh, four have to say? Anything interesting or useful? What invention? The teapot? Did, did Neil invent the teapot? Can I, can I talk to... Uh, I can't even reach Lily. <sighs> You're a nasty piece of work, aren't you, Kara? S such a horrible, obnoxious person. Can't believe you're of Will's love and trust. Anyways. So, let's have a look around, shall we? What's this? Huh, okay. That's kind of cool. I don't have the answer for you off the top of my head, Will, or Neil, but uh, that's pretty cool. You got two interesting inventions here. Wow, Will's, uh, Will's inventing some very important technology here. Um, except for this one, which I hope is not his invention, because it probably would have already been invented at this point. So, our long-lost cousin invented the camera. Uh, an oxygen tank, the first uh, set of airplane wings, and the telescope. Astronomer, uh, artist, uh, everything. He's he's a classical uh, engineer and inventor. Okay, so, uh, what does this have to do with anything? And that's when Neil sent Will to a psycho psychiatric ward. <laughs> the end. But because this is a video game, it's perfectly normal. And he's gonna blather on about something else. Cygnus, that's the, uh, the that's the constellation that we looked at a couple days ago underneath the stars. Ah, you've seen it too, have you, Lily? You guys really know a lot because you're able to look up at the sky at night.
It's by design, trust me. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, well, I guess I have no choice, don't I? Wait, I said yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Why? You think this is a game, Lance? Well, technically it is. I'm really confused now about the location of everything in this game. Neil's house is like a walk away from the Nazca Plains, like one week's walk away. So does Neil live in the Andes? Oh, I, I better not mention anything geographic, because I don't think I even know where the Nazca lines are. But... What? <laughs> what? Eric, it's a bunch of lines in the sand. You can't possibly be afraid of this. You were kidnapped by, uh... You were kidnapped by laborers, or, or labor traders, as they're called in this game. You couldn't possibly be afraid of a couple of paint, painted drawings in the ground now. Anyways, these are kinda cool. I'd like to see what they look like in real life. Uh, not on Google Images, but actually go and see the uh, the Nazca lines. Only you could come up with such a, a bizarre use for the Nazca lines, Kara. Right. What do you guys have to say? Huh. Is there? Well, whatever. Oh, what? Do you, what? Huh? What? Hey, 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 come back here. I I'm trying to... We're, we're trying to catch the ghost. That ghost looks like it comes from the Moon Tribe. Although, I don't know what other ghosts tend to look like, so... Yeah, that's, that's a good question, Lily. Uh, 
I don't remember. I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> Where's the foot even? Is it this one here? Sky Garden. Are we dead? That I'm sure that happens every day in Mesoamerica. You just you're wandering about the Nazca Lions and a giant garden, a giant floating garden, uh, teleports you up to itself. Well, that that wouldn't be the most that wouldn't be the craziest conspiracy theory I heard about the uh, Nazca lines. Uh, so they are the Moon Tribe. Okay. Does Gaia have any advice for us? No. Uh, sure, we'll continue for a while. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we have to do. I'm sure one of them said this. Okay, there are four crystal balls in four locations. And we have to find each of them. Alright. So I'm assuming these are four of the four paths to each location. Let's try to do one, at least. I don't even know what this is now. Usually the enemies are kind of distinguishable. Like these are like robots, right? But the the robots are ice ice giants that fire rocket fists. No, no, they have to be uh, they have to be robots. these things. Okay. Did the moon try to make this garden? Because none of them have hands. Maybe they built and designed the garden with their minds? I don't know. This is a dead end. Well, I guess I should try jumping off the ledge to my death. Hey, that's cool. You can kind of see the, um, if you guys know, you can kind of see the Nazca lines uh, below. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That's really cool.
I'm hoping it jumps but uh, looks like it's not gonna jump back. I actually have no idea where we're going. But I gotta be careful. Ah, jeez. Uh, still some enemies in this area. We haven't been here, I think. Ah, uh, that's not much use. Oh boy, I'm I'm really worried about our health right now. Anything here? Yeah, can we not die, please? <laughs> I have a feeling that wish cannot be granted. Oh good. Okay, okay, we're fine then. Oh, uh, what's going on? Okay, well that was easy. I wonder why we were sent here. If there's a reason why the uh, those moon spirits teleported us here, Cause they didn't give an answer about that. Anywho, so we got one of the crystal balls. Let's place it here. 
Okay. So it looks like we're going to need the crystal balls to form a uh, platform across this area that we can't get to. Hmm. Uh, this looks like it might take some time. Uh, so let's... Oh, let's keep going. It's fine. Can't take that long. I really miss your Dan in moments like this. Sneaky Will. I love that, uh, I love seeing the Nazca lines from up here. I actually have never noticed that. That's so cool. Alright, anyways. Okay. That does nothing. I guess we just had to move it out of the way, that's it. Oh, there's a, there's a passage here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just a it's just a dark portal. Oh wait, maybe we could get for Dan for the next part. I mean we're we're doing pretty okay with Will anyways. I don't see the need to get for Dan. Except for maybe the reach. Yeah, okay, let's get for Dan. Okay. Hopefully for, for Dan is uh, useful for this next part. all the enemies, right? I wonder how the physics in this world works. Uh, how we're able to just chill out at the bottom of a uh, sky garden without just falling to our death. I guess I like I understand for the ghosts because they're they're already dead, but 
I don't know, it doesn't make much sense for, uh, humans. Well, Ferdinand's not really human, he's like a dark, evil, uh, badass knight. Is he the dark knight? Uh, no. Wow, that didn't even hit him. Okay. That was easy. That was pretty easy. Okay, so let's head back. Got our, uh, our second crystal here. Too bad we can't just uh, jump across. Uh, but we have uh, we've got half of our task complete. Uh, we have these two halves to go. But uh, I think we're done for now. And uh, when we come back, we'll complete our task and hopefully figure out why we're up here. Because uh, we haven't been given an explanation yet. So, uh, so until then, see you guys later and uh, take care.